Hey, good morning. It's Carrie again. Um, so today we are going to talk about um, mulch and its importance for conserving water in your soil, but also um, protecting your soil against erosion. Um, so if you watch any of these, you know that I use leaves in my own personal garden, which is where we are right now. Um, at the Ag Park and at the Veterans Urban Farm that CCUA manages, we tend to use a lot of straw because you can acquire it way more easily on a larger scale than leaves. But at home I use leaves and I just collect them every fall. It's really important to you mulch your soil for lots and lots of reasons. Um, firstly, it's, it uh, keeps the soil moisture more consistent. And so it's a great way to, to, you know, show how mulch can, you know, conserve water in your soil. But I have some uncovered soil right here, and then I have some more straw mulch right here. On a dry day, like, a, you know, last weekend, uh, you had been able to dig under the straw mulch and have damp soil. And it's, you can see how deep the mulch is. It's like hand uh, and that's the soil down there and it would have been kind of dry and a little cracked right here um, the soil microbes like a more consistent uh, soil moisture and it's really important to keep those guys happy because those guys eat things they poop things and the stuff they poop out is what the plants like to eat so you want to keep the soil microbes happy so that your plants can uptake the stuff that they exude um, and their wastes. That's like super simple way to explain the relationship between soil moisture, soil microbes, and plant health. Um, another, one other reason why you want to use mulch is actually really um, identifiable today, so I kind of want to fo focus on that a little bit more, is again we're going to look at right here is our, my raised bed, so it's got a slight slope down this way, you might be able to tell. Um, but if you can't, just know that it slopes down this way. And it's, it's not mulched because I have carrots amongst weeds and stuff growing in this bed. And carrots, there are some plants that don't like to be mulched, and carrots are one of them. But you can see, since this is on a slope, if you can, I hope you can see, the, I have a summer squash plant right next to the carrots, and you can see all of this topsoil splattered on the lower leaves of the squash plant. And you can, like it even goes to squash plant leaves that are like six inches above the ground. Um, so another key reason to use mulch in your garden is to protect your soil from erosion. So that's what we're looking at right here. We're looking at soil erosion from the rain event we had earlier this week. So it poured, rain splattered on the topsoil. It, it made it like kind of splatter up and travel downhill which is how it got all over my squash leaves. Um, topsoil is not a renewable resource, so you want to do everything you can to keep it in place and conserve and preserve it. Um, so mulching is one really simple, really easy way to keep soil from topsoil from eroding out of your garden. Um, how can I fix this? Well, um, as you can see, there's nothing growing where I don't have where there's nothing growing where the erosion came from. So the logical step would be just to get some more leaves and toss them on that part of the garden bed. So parts of the, your garden that you really want to make sure to mulch are like the sides of raised beds, like we just talked about, because that's where my erosion stemmed from is the downhill side of a raised bed where the soil just traveled downhill. Um, so, sides of your garden beds, slopes, um, any place where there is like just bare soil. Uh, once the plants are, usually I tell people once the plants are about this tall, almost anything uh, can be mulched when they're that tall. Small seeded things like carrots and greens and things like that don't love to be mulched when they're germinating because the, the little babies are so tiny that you know, a squirrel coming by and kicking some leaves or straw over it can be enough to smother it and kill it. Um, 
So a lot of times when you direct seed small seeded things, you don't mulch right away and you might experience some erosion. Um, but once they're big enough, it's a good idea to get some straw, get some leaves, um, some, you know, some cardboard that doesn't have, uh, like tape or, you know, bad ink on it and, and cover the soil with it. So that will be what I do today. Try to cover all my, um, bare spots with some more leaves so that, um, it's supposed to rain again this afternoon, so hopefully I get to it before this afternoon so I can protect my topsoil. Because as a, as a gardener, really that's your key, is you want to uh, keep your soil happy so that everything kind of falls in place from there. And one of the easiest things to do is to put mulch on your garden to keep your plants happy. So right here is mulch. Oh yeah, great. Okay, so here's a great, um, here's a great like comparison. So here's another side of a raised bed, just like one couple beds over where it's sloped down, but there is uh, leaves on it. So it is very heavily mulched and there is no evidence. I mean, the leaves don't look great of the squash plant, but there's no evidence at all of any topsoil splattering, nothing uh, versus just, you know, three feet away on a bare, on a bare spot, you can see a really, a really good amount of soil erosion that's splattered up on the leaves. Um, and again, like you just, that's not ideal. You don't want to do things that, that result in that. Uh, because like I was saying before we did the comparison, kind of your goal as a gardener is just to do right by your soil. And as you can see with this quick comparison demonstration, one of the easiest things you can do is just totally cover the soil with some sort of organic mulch. Um, you want to cover it thick enough so you can't see the soil under it. And it will break down and it will add organic matter to your soil and it'll feed the microbes. Uh, so everything will fall into place, but protecting your soil from erosion is key. So for some things, splattering of soil on um, the lower leaves will cause diseases to travel up the plant. So that a classic with that is tomatoes. Tomatoes really need to be mulched because um, there's a lot of soil-borne diseases that predate upon tomatoes in central Missouri. So it's you know it's standard to plant your tomatoes and then immediately mulch them very heavily to protect uh, the soil splatter from getting actually on the tomatoes. Um, so yeah, it also just keeping soil off of the leaves just keeps things healthier too. All right, well, that was it for today. Remember to mulch your garden, it's really important. Um, and we'll see you on Monday with another episode of Ask an Urban Farmer. So we'll see you then.